Hi, and thanks for joining us for another in the Bosch Thermal Technology series of educational videos. My name is Chaz Karen. Today, we're going to talk about the Bosch high efficiency approach to domestic hot water production for single family homes. This video will discuss why, in fact, there is a consumer demand for tankless water heaters, and what are some of the historic barriers to the selection of tankless water heaters for residential purposes. And most importantly, we will discuss how the Bosch Green Therm T9000 series focuses on invisible comfort for the consumer, high efficiency, and ease of installation for the contractor, and answers all of these issues. Why do consumers want that tankless water heater? First and foremost, most people invest in the tankless water heater for energy savings, and that's energy savings versus a storage tank. Tankless water heaters save energy because there's not a continuous loss of heat from the thermal mass. They also save space versus a tank. It is the size of a small suitcase hanging on the wall versus a large footprint of a tank sitting on the floor. Longer life expectancy than a tank, and that can be assumed because the tank acts as a catch basin and it builds up sediment at the bottom of the tank, impairing energy transfer and destroying the bottom of the tank. A great luxury from tankless water heaters. They will not run out of hot water. They are an on-demand production of hot water. It's a heat exchanger. There's no stored volume. It's made on demand. Lower environmental impact. Lower environmental impact both during the life cycle of operation and during operation there's less emissions from the tankless water heater. And then also when we talk about the end of usable life, where the tank becomes a huge piece of garbage that goes to the landfill, whereas a tankless water heater presents an opportunity for recycling metals. So what are the challenges? Given all those very positive reasons why consumers would like to have a tankless water heater, what are the challenges? And one of the challenges was the perceived, or in some cases real, ability to maintain a stable temperature and maintaining end user comfort. Another challenge was the instantaneous fuel supply, and that was a challenge for the contractor to make sure that there was enough fuel supplied. And in general, the tankless water heater will have a much larger burner than a tank style water heater. But keep in mind that burner modulates. That burner will downfire as the demand goes down and increase its firing state as the demand for hot water goes up, all the time maintaining maximum efficiency. Venting costs and difficulty in piping retrofit is another challenge. The venting costs historically may have involved a proprietary venting system or a stainless steel AL294C venting system, both of which were very expensive. And another difficulty for the contractor was the piping in retrofit, whereas the connections for the tank water heater on top and most tankless have bottom connections and a few have side connections. Setup and commissioning requirements could be another burden to some contractors. Many contractors do not have a combustion gas analyzer. The flue gas analyzer was a requirement for proper installation of many products historically. Long-term maintenance. Long-term maintenance is a cost to the consumer, obviously, and sometimes a nuisance or perceived nuisance to the installer. And then the higher initial investment was certainly a barrier to many consumers in making the decision to purchase tankless water heaters. So what do we have? What is Bosch bringing to the market that rises to meet those challenges? What we have is a single chassis that meets many roles in domestic water heating. The basic product line for the Bosch water heating T9000 series is the Green Therm T9800 SE. This is available in 199,000 BTUs or 160,000 BTUs with two configurations, an indoor configuration as well as an outdoor configuration, it will be install, installed on an exterior wall in southern climates. Ne next year, in 2019, we will have a commercial version on the same chassis, 199,000 BTUs, high output. For people who desire a greater luxury, we have the Green Therm 9900 SER. The Green Therm 9900 SER is available as an indoor unit with 199,000 BTU input or 160,000 BTU input. This unit incorporates built-in recirculation for domestic recirculation. Domestic recirculation allows hot water to be at the tap almost immediately. 
And then the top of the line is the Green Therm 9900i SER. This is another recirculating unit with a built-in pump, but it also includes built-in Wi-Fi capability. The water heater is able to communicate via the internet to, to your phone or tablet for controls. Looking at the outside of this unit, we can see it has a very modern appearance. This appearance conforms to the new Bosch DNA aesthetic. As we open it up and take the cover off, we can see inside it is still a very clean looking unit. All of the electronics, the ECU in the upper right hand corner of the cabinet, allows for plug and play installation with a remote control option via Wi-Fi and does the uh, awesome ability of creating stable temperature and comfort for the consumer. The gas valve and the fan modulate. They modulate with a turndown ratio of 22 to 1 and automatically calculates the flue length via the load on the fan. The burner is a downfired configuration with very low emissions and again available either as 160,000 BTUs or 199,000 BTU inlet. It, the modulation is over three burner segments with a minimum input of 9,000 BTUs. Those three segments stage in six different configurations to maximize the flame height or optimize the flame height in order to ensure that we get even heat transfer across the entire heat exchanger. That heat exchanger itself is a copper and fin heat exchanger. The, both the tubing and the fins are copper. They have built-in turbulators for scale reduction technology. We choose copper because copper does a great job of energy transfer. Copper does a phenomenal job in contact with water. And then for our condensing portion, we choose the more durable stainless steel 316L. The 316L is very resistant to the corrosive effects of the condensed flue gases and allows that efficiency to drive all the way up to a 0.97 UEF under the old guidelines of EF that was a 0.99. The condensing heat exchanger has a banked tube construction. The banked tube construction allows for a low pressure resistance in the exhaust and a very low pressure drop on the water side. For the consumer, for easy controls of this unit, the unit has the ability to display in multiple languages. In the United States, most importantly, we're going to have the ability to communicate in English, Spanish, and French. The unit will also display in German, Portuguese, Italian, and Chinese, should somebody need that. The controls themselves are touchscreen with very, very familiar icons. For instance, the power button, an OK or select button when you're scrolling through the menu, a back arrow or a return or escape button, and then the scrolling buttons for scrolling the temperature or scrolling through the menus inside of the unit. So how does the Green Therm T9000 series produce the high volume of hot water and maintain temperature stability? The high flow is high as 5.7 gallons per minute at a 70 degree temperature rise. The fan and burner design accommodates very fast response to changing flow rates or changing temperature requirements. The fan itself is driven by an ECM. The gas valve is driven by a variable solenoid. The fan and burner function on very low gas pressures, taking away some of the issues historically created with tankless water heaters and the need for a high demand for gas. The modular segmented burner allows, the, again, a 22 to 1 turndown ratio with a 9,000 BTU minimum input. The Ceramat burner surface, very durable and very compact. The active bypass, is in the waterway. The active bypass creates comfort for the consumer by ensuring a stable outlet temperature and ensuring there are no temperature spikes as the unit operates. Then the heat exchanger, the stainless steel heat exchanger, the condensing portion of the unit allows for an extremely low pressure drop through the entire tankless water heater that pressure drop is less than 10 PSI at a very high four gallon per minute flow rate. One of the classic challenges, the venting cost and the difficulty in piping retrofit. 
Venting cost is going to be very low on this. All of the connections are on the top, making life easier for the contractor. And the venting is just two inches and can be vented on two inch schedule 40 PVC. The air intake is also two inches, a mechanical connection with a gasket to bring the fresh air into the cabinet. On the water inlet side, we have a filter screen to prevent debris from entering the unit and a three quarter inch water connection threaded NPT. Outlet side, there's a three quarter inch hot outlet, as well as a tap for the pressure relief valve, which is included for all of the indoor units. Venting options for materials, polypropylene, both the flexible and the rigid polypropylene, PVC schedule 40. And again, the vent lengths, very, very flexible for the contractor. Two inch vent pipe, two inch vent pipe will allow for a 60 feet of exhaust equivalency plus a 60 feet of intake equivalency. And if a home is large enough or if the configuration is unusual and the 60 feet of vent length is not adequate, the contractor can increase the pipe size to three inch. And on three inch, it will go 280 feet of exhaust plus a 280 feet intake equivalency. Setup and commissioning. And again, setup and commissioning has been a classic barrier to contractors entering the tankless water heating market. OptiFlow, our combustion management system, is designed to take away most of the challenges for the contractor in this setup. First and foremost, it does automatic combustion adjustment. It does automatic combustion adjustment via the ionization current through the flame sensors. It does automatic altitude adjustment built onto the ECU, the electronic control unit, is a barometric sensor. The barometric sensor indicates to the controls the elevation where the unit is installed. So the unit is aware, based on elevation, how thin the atmosphere is. Automatic gas type adjustment. After changing the orifices, which is just a four screws, through the HMI, the display right on the front of the unit, the contractor will indicate that the unit is now a, an LP unit and there's no need for a combustion analyzer. That ionization process will prove the flame. And then automatic vent configuration. Based on the load on the fan, the unit will be able to configure for vent lengths up to the maximum approved equivalencies. So long-term maintenance then is another issue that has been a barrier. Long-term maintenance, in some cases, due to the need for descaling, and in other cases, for wear on the condensing heat exchanger. The bank tubes heat exchanger are very, very durable, and a 316L stainless steel is much longer life expectancy. Then as we talk about the issue of descaling, built to the bottom of the indoor units are flush ports. These flush ports are threaded with garden hose thread. So if there is a need to descale the unit, if there's some line buildup inside of the unit, the contractor with his transfer pump and a set of hoses can run descaling agent through the unit. The shutoffs are built into the bottom of the unit, so there's no need for an external shutoff for those drain ports or those service ports. The condensate drain is three quarter inch and it is a threaded three quarters inch. The gas supply is three quarters connection, but the unit can be supplied with a half inch gas line, assuming that the gas pressure is adequate for that purpose. Two screws hold the cover in place along with a pair of spring clips. And then there's also knockout plugs for wiring to adjacent units or for wiring external pumps. And then the higher initial investment, the equipment cost for these units, looking at the baseline T9 V800 SE160 and the T9800 SE199, the list price is extremely favorable versus any comparable tankless water heater, condensing tankless water heater, and in many cases is competitive versus any high output tank style power vented tank water heater. So ultimately why the Green Therm T9000 series? Great value for the money, great comfort for the price. It's easy to use both for the contractor and the installer, which makes it extremely convenient. The materials are extremely high quality, giving us industrial durability, a residential warranty of 15 years on the heat exchanger. 
It's easy to install, which makes it suitable for a contractor who maybe historically has not been comfortable installing tankless water heaters. Safety and reliability, given the Bosch state-of-the-art technology, and ultimately reducing the operating costs and saving energy for the consumer. Thank you all for listening. I hope you found this information helpful. Should you need further technical support, or if you'd like to find the distributor, please call 800-283-3787. Thank you so much for your attention.